People are looking for that story. What can I get in Las Vegas that I can't get anywhere else? I mean, this is a desert. There's very little agriculture happening around here. Not a lot is growing around here. And we're certainly not super close to the ocean, so. Chefs are feeling like they need to push the envelope a little bit. There's a lot of money and a lot of time spent on finding the best product. Costa Jumari is getting seafood that nobody else can get. Exclusive Mediterranean and Italian seafood. And it's specifically been pulled out of the ocean hours ago just for you. I don't think anyone knows officially how they do it. With Italian food in, in the United States, we think of pasta, we think of meatballs, you know, lasagna, things like that. And that's not what you're going to find at Costa de Mare. Really, when you go to Italy and you see all the fish and it's surrounded by water, you go to the markets in the morning, and see like the freshness of everything, and to see a lot of that stuff on the menu at nighttime, it was inspiring. I tell people all the time, the difference between typical Italian restaurant and us would be Italians from Brooklyn, and we're Italians off the boat. The best compliment what we get here at Costa di Mare, it's a question. How did you get that bottle of wine? How did you bring that fish here? We are sharing a story. This experience, it has to be memorable. Mark LaRusso, he is incredible. He's one of the great veteran Las Vegas chefs that people don't talk about. You don't see his name in bold print or anything like that. It's more about the experience. The menu starts with what's in season, what's the best product? Because you know, fish is seasonal. And when I was in Rome one night, I walked in this kind of like hip, cool restaurant. I'd say, you know, 95% of the tables had raw fish on the table. I think like with Crudo, it really kind of starts your meal off and kickstarts the freshness of our seafood program. People often come in and ask, where's the show at this restaurant? And I often tell them, the show is in the plate. There's just so much respect for the ingredient there. They just kind of let it, let it shine and let it do its thing. Feminine touch, you know, nothing like overpowering. You know, you're cooking it with care, you're, you're watching it, you're making sure you're not overcooking it. A little drizzle of great olive oil, and that's kind of all you need. You wouldn't want to like make a cream sauce per se and, and lay it a little over, you just, I feel like you're not respecting the product. It's so rare to have something so simple that all we do is just, uh, we cook it correctly and we bring it to you outside. Of all the different fish that we get, I'd say there's at least 40% of it that you're not gonna see in the United States. This is our langoustine ting, so you can tell they're nice and alive right now. I get what's unique about them, that no one has them alive in, in the United States. We bring langoustinas from somewhere in Europe, and I, I say somewhere in Europe because we're not allowed to tell you where we get them from. Because of their great relationships with the fisheries there, they're able to get this product that nobody else has. The gentleman that gets them for us, he believes in sustainability, and, and we love that. I just email him and say, send us language scenes. He replies, received. It's basically a 48 hour turnaround to our back door. You have to get some seafood there. Have to. But uh, you should definitely get some pasta too. It's pretty incredible. Pasta is one of the main ingredients of, of an Italian cuisine or Italian culture. It's an everyday thing. Every day, it literally is fresh pasta. We treat it as a middle course, small bowl of pasta in between your fish course and your appetizer. You know, it's traditionally how you would eat in Italy. They, put it, they mix with the dough, that's why it's black. One of our signature cordio cup. I think this restaurant is, is a lot about education, and it's, it's probably the most unique restaurant I've worked at. The fish cart that we have, to go in there and say, this is our Chacal lobsters from Sicily, and it just kind of brings the whole story together. Educating our guests about the, all the species, that's the lifeline of this restaurant. We are fortunate enough to, to feature fish from all over our Mediterranean waters. From up to the northern part of Italy, next to the Venetian Lagoon, down to the Ionian and Adriatic waters, Sicily, all the way up to Liguria north. Go get this lobster, you have to dive in physically. Enjoy it. Thank you. All our fish is done table side. We are going to uh, fillet this for you table side. It ends up being like part of the cooking process. It's absolutely uh, fundamental to see the, the flash of the fish. Then you see the moisture uh, content, you see the flakiness of it, you see the sweetness of the fish, and that's what makes the difference. 
The goal is to mimic that way of eating outside somewhere in Italy and replicate the Italian experience. It's about the gas, and I think if you take care of the gas, you take care of the quality, the rest just kind of flows in together. Time for dessert. Making moments uh, so special for them. We do this day in, day out. As a chef, that's what you always like to hear, like you made part of our evening. The idea that the strip is always reforming, reshaping, makes a lot of sense because, you know, we're nothing if not catering to our guests here. Always creating, always changing, always striving for better. And I think we, we embrace that in this restaurant to the fullest.